Hmm. Hello. Let's just wait a few minutes for the others. How many are we? Nine. Very good. Okay. Good evening, guys. How are you? Hope you're doing right. A little bit of rain, right? Yeah. How was your weekend? What's good? Glad to hear that. Yes, that's the reason why. Okay, let's just wait for the others because I have something important to tell you. Okay, we are 14. Let me do the attendance first. Um, please turn on your cameras. It's important, remember. So, Ada Patricia Cáceres Mendoza. Ada Susana. What did I say, Patricia, right? Oh my God. I'm sorry, <laughs> Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Am I in the right list? Present teacher. <laughs> Hi, thank you. Alexander de Jesus Sanchez Soto. Present. Carla Ivania Cabrera Serrano. Present. Claudia Maricela Solano Crespín. Elvin Arcides Eguizabal Martínez. Present. Just don't want to make a mistake again. Fátima Ifegenia López Ramos. Present. Thank you. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Fer? No. Present. Oh, there you are. Thank you. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Present. Thank you. Jose Antonio Cubías Hernández. Present. Excellent. Carla Yanet Amaya Herrera. Present. Miguel Ángel Paz Landaverde. Miriam Carolina Mozo Valdez. Present. René Alfonso Ma Madrid Escalante. <coughs> Rina Marisabel Álvarez de Chávez. Roberto Luis Umaña Orellana. Sabrina Mabel Latín Castro. Present teacher. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Alan Christopher Abrego Brizuela. Present. Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. Present. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez. Present. José Alfredo Sandoval Sarabia. José Ángel Martínez Hernández. And Juan Marcos Guzmán. Present, teacher. Excellent. Okay, let's see. Carla Ivania. Did I ask for Carla Ivania? Yeah, there, there you are. Okay. No, I didn't take your attendance. Okay. So we are 17. Yeah. Alguien no me contestó. Hmm. Carolina, did I mention you? Yes, of course. I did, right? Carolina, Yvette, where are you? Oh, there you are. Okay. Bien, chicos. Bueno, voy a detener un minuto. Es importante tocar ciertos temas eh, que son, eh, son un poco preocupantes, ¿no? Eh, esta semana vamos a tener varias auditorías de Insaforp. Eh, 
como ya hemos mencionado, pues ellos auditan los videos al día siguiente y pues hemos notado que la plataforma está incompleta en ciertos, uh, con algunos de ustedes, eh, sí rogarles de verdad a todos, a todos a que se conecten a la plataforma y realicen sus ejercicios. Yo esta noche tengo que actualizar el cuadro de notas. Eh, les pedía de favor el viernes que lo hicieran, gracias a la mayoría que lo hizo, hay algunos que otro ahí que todavía no accesa. Pregunta, teacher, ¿yo puedo llegar hasta el final de los ejercicios? Sí, sí, lo puede hacer. Uh, recuerden que pueden hacer más de una vez los ejercicios, pueden pedir ayuda ahí en el chat, si no estoy yo, están todos sus compañeros, esto es un equipo y tenemos que lograr completar eso. Saben que el programa, les decía yo el primer día, creo, eh, fue diseñado con la idea de tener solamente la plataforma. No se pedían clases, solamente la plataforma, de manera autodidacta, o sea, que ustedes fueran aprendiendo con cierto material y ya. Y eso es todo. Pero eh, luego se desarrolló la idea de poder tener las clases también, antes de manera presencial, luego de manera virtual. Y aquí estamos, pues. Eh, sí, comentarles, yo doy clases no solamente de ese tipo de, de, de inglés para el trabajo, sino de otros cursos también, que de igual manera son gratuitos para el gobierno. Y. Si noto un patrón, un noto un patrón bien claro y es que cuando algo es gratis es como que lo ves de menos, quizás algunas personas lo ven de menos, no aprecian el valor agregado que tienen y en el caso de este curso eh, el valor agregado es eh, poder hablar de diferentes temas eh, relacionados al área laboral. Entonces es muy importante que tú sepas de eso. Tal vez ahorita no lo veas, pero Dios quiera un día te toque. Eh, moverte de, de rubro y pues ya vas a conocer, ¿no? Es muy importante. Y de igual manera, todo curso de inglés es bueno siempre y cuando tú te apliques. Siempre y cuando tú eh, estés consciente de lo que querés, porque si realmente no necesitas hablar inglés, eh, no estarías acá, ¿verdad? Creo que todos estamos acá porque tenemos la necesidad de aprender inglés y hemos visto que vale la pena. Eh, por experiencia lo digo. Entonces es importante, ¿no? Nada más eso, no es regaño en ningún momento, sino eh, por el mismo precio que les tengo, les digo eh, aplíquense un poquito yo sé que es difícil a veces el trabajo, ¿verdad? Eh, a veces que nos enfermamos ya con la edad pues empiezan más enfermedades y más enfermedades y más enfermedades y vamos en decaimiento pero todo está en la mente, acuérdense acuérdense, ok so, alguna pregunta eh, si sí, vamos a tener receso prácticamente Déjenme ver, eh, la otra semana, la otra semana, esta semana vamos a estar hasta el viernes 30 y luego regresamos el lunes 9 de agosto. Repito, llegamos hasta el viernes 30, este viernes, y luego regresamos el lunes 9 para terminar, si no me equivoco, el lunes 16 de agosto. Ese sería nuestro último día de clases. ¿Alguien tiene preguntas con eso o estaba preguntándose a sí mismo eso? Ahí está la respuesta. ¿Alguna pregunta? No. Ok. Uh, Isela. Me. Uh -huh. Yeah, and, and that is because we are going to have holidays yeah. or because we are ending the, the model. No, no. I said we stop classes on the 30th. We come back on Monday the 9th. So that week. Okay. That's the week from the 2nd to the 6th. You're off. We are off. Um, Yo no quiero. Um, you. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay. In the next um, level, are hmm. you going to, to be your teacher or not? Only God knows, my darling. That's up to you, actually. Eso depende de ustedes. Y si era el otro tema que quería hablarles rapidín. Probablemente se les envíe esta semana, si no se les ha enviado aún, una encuesta de satisfacción eh, para mí. O sea, para que ustedes me evalúen a mí, ¿verdad? Es importante que sean honestos. Si no les ha parecido la manera en la que ha dado la clase, sean honestos, por favor. Créanme que me van a ayudar mucho a mí. No solo tirando flores, sino que el hecho de decir, bueno, mira, a mí me gusta cómo está la clase de él, pero esto y esto y esto, ¿verdad? Me gustaría más que hiciera esto, sugerencias. 
si al final todo esto que se hace es por ustedes, esas son becas que son para ustedes y si al final ustedes no se sienten cómodos con ellas, ¿ok? Um, y pues hay otra encuesta, hay una encuesta más ahorita que es muy importante que, que, que entendamos todos eh, los que no estaban y eso es primera vez, tal vez, eh, hay una encuesta de satisfacción que es del, del, uh, del programa en sí. Esa la vamos a realizar el último día de clase, ¿ok? El 16 de agosto. No la vamos a llenar por nuestra cuenta, ¿ok? Ojo, con eso voy a estar haciendo hincapié en eso toda la semana. Dígame, Jocelyn, creo. No, he intentado evaluar, pero bueno, no sé si solo a mí me aparece o si los demás han intentado. Yo lo intenté evaluar a usted, pero aparece solo principiante hasta cinco y... Por eso no, yo lo iba a dejar con principiante hasta cinco, porque vi que es el único Rafael, pero lo que sucede es que intermedio no aparece. Entonces, evitando que se le vaya la encuesta a otro teacher, no lo he querido hacer, no sé si puede visualizar eso, porque sale hasta principiante cinco. No Muchas bien. gracias, a todos les ocurre esto. To be Hola. honest, I have not tried, but, but I can try it in a few minutes. And I, I mentioned will let you know. Stella. Did you remember that I mentioned? Yeah, I remember, no, but, I, I, but I didn't try. No sé si todo, alguien puede verificar si tiene también la mano, porque yo intenté y salí hasta principiante, cinco, no salí intermedio. Oh, okay, let me check now. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Okay, don't worry. Uh, ya se va a encargar de eso. Entonces, gracias. Muchas gracias, Jocelyn por informarme para que le corrijan el link, tal vez, no sé. Ok. Any other question? Any other question? No. No? Ok, let's go with Spanish sí. then. Yeah. Johnny. I can say the platform. You, I'm I sorry? Try. And try a lot of one, but I can say. Uh, perdón, Platform. Johnny, ¿no puedes enviar las tareas de la plataforma o la encuesta? No. Eh, hacer la tarea. Ajá, la las tareas. Plataforma. Ah, pero sí tienes acceso a la plataforma. Sí. Sí. Ok, ok. Sí. Mm, si puedes comunicarte con alguien de, de soporte técnico del chat, los que tienen el logo de inglés corporativo. La cosa. Aquí, no, aquí. Ok. <ríe> Ajá. Para que ellos puedan darte apoyo en eso, ¿ok? Porfa. Igual al que le pase lo mismo, ¿no? Sí. Una consulta. ¿A uh -huh. dónde enviaron esa encuesta? ¿Al WhatsApp? Por, o al... por correo, ¿verdad, chicos? Sí les cayó por correo y parece que con, con what's, en WhatsApp what's... personalizado. Jocelyn. ¿Qué, ¿Qué día fue? Porque no tengo ningún correo. Ni yo. Uh -huh. Sí, ah, sí, pero cuando fue. Con... Por Yo correo. Sí, por no, correo. No a todos les ha caído entonces, pero solo esta semana reci... tiene que caer. Yo solo recibí para enviar la documentación de nuevo. Okay. Me parece que ahí tenía que estar ese. Ahí ese tendría link. que estar. Veamos. Sí, sí, revisalo, Fernando, porfa. Eh, sí, ojo, eh, eh, porque ya estamos a la mitad de la, del módulo, pues empiezan estos trámites, que como lo decís, Sela, es para el siguiente módulo también. Son formalidades que hay que ir cumpliendo. Ok. Teacher, solo una Teacher. consulta. Sí, si terminamos después de las vacaciones, eh, en la plataforma solo hay cuatro unidades. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Como yo les comentaba, eh, estos módulos, este módulo de intermedio en adelante hasta avanzado son cinco semanas de clases. Uh -huh. Es probable que... Y, ah, y ok, pero... Pero el libro tiene cuatro unidades. ¿Ya? Es como les decía, la plataforma se creó primero y después las clases. 
pero resulta que el programa fue diseñado así, 40 horas para los niveles básicos, 50 para los niveles intermedios y los avanzados. Entonces tuvimos que ir que acoplar los contenidos de los libros de intermedio y de avanzado en el 2017, no, 2016, ya se empezó a acoplar eso. Los intermedios necesitan más tiempo y los avanzados de igual manera. Entonces, en cuanto a las horas, sí, son cinco semanas, el libro tiene cuatro módulos, cuatro unidades. Ok, okay gracias. Ok, ok. Buenas yes. preguntas. René. Eh, ok, es que en el email que mandaron, bueno, ahí dice fecha tentativa de inicio para el módulo 2, el 11 de agosto. Y usted dice que vamos a terminar el 16 de agosto. Pero como es tentativa, imagino que eso sea optimal. Sí, sí, tiene que estar mal ese correo porque nos vamos de vacaciones el 6. Ah, va. Perdón, el, uh, del 5 al 9. No, ya me llamé mis abuelos, espérense. <ríe> es que estoy en julio. A ver, ajá. Vamos del 2 al 6, no, no tenemos clases. Del 2 al 6 y regresamos el 9. Así es la cosa. Ok. Eh, pero igual, voy a confirmar con la administración y mañana mismo les doy respuesta a sus inquietudes en cuanto a las fechas de ejecución del, del, de, de este módulo, ok. Ok. Ahora, eso más que todo, René, puede ser una formalidad por el hecho de que ahorita lo que importa para poder inscribir el siguiente módulo es ya tener la documentación que su empresa manda. Sí, ellos tienen que tener una fecha tentativa, por lo menos de ejecución del programa, de inicio de ejecución del siguiente programa. Eso sí tiene sentido. Alexander, me parece que tenías una pregunta. No, es que sí, de hecho es que me confundí el... No han enviado todavía la encuesta al correo electrónico. No me enviaron otra, pero es para de otro curso. Ajá. Ah, oh, ok. okay. Eh, Yo serín, ¿a ti cómo si te cayó? Mandaron, Ajá, la mandaron, la... pero por WhatsApp. Ah. Por WhatsApp, o sea, te mandan, te mandan el, eh, la información del nuevo módulo, o sea, del, del intermedio 2, y te dice de que, de que hasta cuándo tenés para enviar los documentos y cuándo es la fecha tentativa. Entonces le tenés que dar clic donde dice leer más y luego te dice abajo encuesta anónima para tu, para tu ¿cómo? no sé cómo que dice, facilitador Facilita. eso. Facilitador. Ajá, Ajá, es que soy disléxica, sorry. Entonces, sorry. En inglés, hay un este... compañero mío que dice facilitator y esa palabra no existe. Ok. Yo, uh -huh. en, en lugar de escribir change me, escribo change right. me. <laughs> That's what happens when you learn English. Yeah. Yo uh -huh. encontré en, yeah. en el WhatsApp, está un mensaje que como dice, solo que tiene razón sí. este, la compañera ahí con lo de, lo de que aparece hasta el principiante 5 nada más. Mm. Ajá, mm. lo acabo de revisar y solo aparece, o sea, sí aparece su nombre, pero cuando pero pregunta opción. en qué nivel estamos, solo aparece uh -huh. hasta principiante 5, creo yo. Ok, perfecto. Así que yes. tenemos que revisar eso antes de evaluar. Okay. Thank you, thank you. Gracias, chicos, de verdad. Ok, let's get, let's go, um, let's put hands on the business. What is it? Let's put hands on the job. Hands on the job. Okay, first step. As a group, we need to find the meaning of this vocabulary, okay? Find with their dictionary, with Google Translate if you want, find the definition of the following words, dispenser, dirt, designated, designated, sink, throwly, 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 difficult word. Thoroughly, thoroughly. Some people may say thoroughly, thoroughly, uh -uh, thoroughly, thoroughly. Hmm. Okay, thoroughly. So find the definition. I will ask you to do me a favor. If possible, try to find synonyms. Synonyms for these words. Okay, a synonym for dispenser and the definition of the word. So you can tell the class what does it mean? What each word means. This is page 24 of your manual, okay? I'm gonna take a screenshot and send it to your group so you can have it handy as well. Let's start the class. Remember, you must talk in groups. You must talk. We are 18 right now, okay? Let's go. Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Hi, Zanet. Zanet. Hi, Juan. How are you? Hi, Juan. Hi, Zanet. Hi, Juan. Hi, teacher. Hmm? I need to write the definitions. Right? Here. I see. You have to use in five synonyms in the definition. Uh, that's dispense is the fur. Dispenser. Dispenser. A person or thing that dispenser. what a dispenser is a container. Uh, I find a um, I meaning uh, said a container so designed that. Content can be used in prescribed amount. Spray, synon, spray, atomizer, atomis, atomizer, <laughs> inhalator, spray. And have the definition like a person or thing that dispenses something. Person who is, yeah, it's a person who dispenses. Dispenser. But it's a uh, Dispenser. Thoroughly. 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 Bien raro lo dice Google. Thoroughly. 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 Lo parte en Thor. De ahí all y de último el D. Thoroughly. Thoroughly. Dispenser, dispenser, like where if someone dispenses something that they own or control, they give or provide it to a number of people. Synonym or not, you heard Synonym. Yeah, trying to find synonyms. Uh, uh, synonyms. Synonyms. Better. Uh -huh. Synonyms. 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 Hay que buscar. Quiero ver. Cuidadosamente, ¿cómo se dice? Carefully. Quiero ver. Uh -huh. Carefully. Carefully. En todos los juegos, cuando uno le dice que tengan cuidado de eso, le dice uno. Be careful. Be careful. Be careful. Uh. Detalladamente. Detailed, creo que no. no ¿Cómo es detalladamente? Quiero ver. Uh. Thoroughly, thoroughly, thoroughly. I don't know how to describe. Dispenser, huh? dispenser is not como person. Hanga. Oh, es, es como cuando estoy haciendo. Ajá, es como de manejar algo, pero al final la acción de, ¿cómo puedo decir? De, 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 de expulsar o algo, no sé, dispenser. Yo tengo un mm. aparatito de agua que se llama dispensador. Y lo que hace es expulsar agua. Ayuda al mecanismo para tener agua y expulsarlo. So it dispenses water. <laughs> right. No, no, no. It's okay. It dispenses liquids. Uh, but ah, yeah. Yes. It's okay. It's really También a los a las cositas. Cuando vamos cuando vamos a cualquier lugar ahorita que nos 
cuando uno busca de esas botellitas que tiene para cuando presiona cualquier cosita, el ah. dispensador también. The alcohol dispenser. Water dispensers. Water dispenser. Use dispensers. Mm -hmm. Frozen dispensers. Frozen. Mm, Ice coffee. cream dispensers. Coffee dispensers. Coffee dispensers. Coffee dispenser. There's a lot of them. It's a machine. It could be a machine. Yeah. Okay, keep it up. The next one this uh sink. This is neither. This is neither. To a specific, a specific position. Position. Sing. 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 Special. Special. Right? Uh, yes. Okay, let me check. Uh, oh my God, where is it here? Is it with the same dictionary. It's like, let me check. I found that it's a um, um, container or machine that you can get something from. Um, yeah, it's something to like, um, I don't know, I can say it to that can give you or dispense. It's the same in my own words, maybe it's a uh... A uh, container, I don't know, that sort of thing that you can choose as you want. Mm. That can be used for, for soap. I always confuse the sopa I... con jabón. Soap. <laughs> soap. Soap. Soup. 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 Sopa. Soap. Soap. Jabón. Jabón. Soap. 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 Okay. Soap. Is something Soap. that you can use on the on the bathroom to give you soap. To serve soap. to serve soap. To, to serve, serve the liquid soap. soap. Liquid soap. Liquid in, soap. In soap. Mm -hmm. soap opera. Me voy a acordar oh. de sope. Okay. <laughs> It's right or not? Yeah, soap opera. Okay. Oh, popra. Nothing okay, to do. what is <laughs> what is the other the other word? It's not totally. 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 Um throwly. Throwly. Correct. The U is very throly. weak. Throwly. Something throly. complete. No. Oh, Come again. Something that is complete. No. 
or carefully? Yeah, in detail. Um, yeah. Careful definition, complete. Um... Carefully, completely, comprehensively. Well, Efficient. I don't remember the meaning of Spanish. And, uh, uh, minuciosamente. Ah, uh, yeah, minuciosamente. Yeah. It's like a, it's, it's like a yeah. take care of something. In detail, yeah. To look into something in detail or something do in something detail. in detail carefully. Okay. Well done. Thank you. Thoroughly. <laughs> Thoroughly. 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 Mm, difficult word. Yeah. yeah. In, in the no, context, you, you get the meaning in the context, you know, when you're cooking, for example, you you mix, uh, for example, milk, powder milk with water thoroughly. You have to mix it thoroughly. Thoroughly. The flour, flour with eggs, you usually mix them thoroughly, right, to avoid any air to remain on the mixture. <laughs> Great. Okay, Great. so we, we got all the definition. Okay. Yeah, no. yeah, I think that we have all. You're making me feel okay. sleepy, you know. See? <laughs> I'm, make, I'm feeling sleepy when I see you on the bed. Come on. I'm sorry. <laughs> Manisela. I guess you're tired I'm... of being sitting all day, right? Yeah. Yeah, but you're going, to be you're going to you're going to the side, right? Actually, yeah, I have almost two months going, going to, the, to side? the side. Yeah, I I was working at home for more than a year. More than a year. Since, wow. Yeah, since the since the pandemic start. Since the pandemic started, wow. Yeah. Oh, unless you got a job, right? Mm, but really now good. I miss my home to work at home. Do you have baby? Do you have kids? No, not yet. No. Okay. Well, at least you have you had <laughs> peace. You had peace at home. Yeah, I'm always babysitting. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> if you, you if you if you see me like this. <laughs> So, <laughs> yeah, very often. Yeah, okay. Do you enjoy it? I enjoy being at home. It's a lot better. I'd rather, I'd most, rather be in The home. most amazing thing that you can feel when you come to the house. Yeah, I mean, yeah, when you're outside and you come back home, is amazing. But spending the whole day, I'm getting tired. <laughs> but right now, I'm clear that it's better to be at home, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. It's you're yeah. safe. Okay, safety. Are you done? I think you're done, right? Uh, I think so, yeah. Okay. But you okay. are very energetic. Yeah, I have to yeah, be. Not. I have to be. If I was bored, you know, all the time being here. Nah. Like, uh, and, uh, I cannot um, be like that. It's just that uh, I, I have to be doing something. That's my... That's my attitude, you know. I have to be doing something. If I'm not doing anything, even when I'm taking calls on the call center, I'm taking calls and I'm typing, grading exams or preparing more classes or developing my my own classes. So there's always something to do, and it's it's better, a lot better. Right. I prefer to sleep. <laughs> I love to sleep. <laughs> I love sleeping, but I need money. Honey, oh, yeah. I need money for yeah. the honey. <laughs> oh, they always want. Okay, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> I'm singing in the rain, just singing in the rain. What a glorious day, man. Happy again. Oh my God, you're back so soon. <gasps> Who was the last one? Oh my God. 
Ok, Ada Susena Steam. Ada Susena. Where are you, Carla, Ivania, and Sandra Elizabeth? Give me, please, the first definition and its synonyms if you found anything. Dispenser. What is a dispenser? Dispenser. The machine or container that you can get something from by mm. building a handle or pressing a button. A button. A machine. And you. Or container. Or container. Okay. A machine or container. That you can get something. From? Okay. Something from by building a handle or pressing mm. mm. or button. button. I missed one word here. Uh, you can get something from by pressing pressing okay uh, like that pressing is it double s no no teacher pressing or no handle or present okay uh so what word did you say here by by Push, pulling. Pushing. Oh, uh -huh. pulling. pushing. Oh, pulling. No, no, no. Pulling. Pulling, pulling a handle. Pulling. Uh huh. Or a, a pushing. Or pressing, or... or pressing a button. Yes, teacher. Okay, good. Pulling. Teacher, pulling. Pulling? Is, is correct. Yeah, pulling. A handle okay. or, you know, I have a problem. Cada vez que voy a un en algún lugar así, y dice push and pull cuando estaba aprendiendo inglés. Siempre decía lo opuesto. Decía push, yo pull. Y jalaba la puerta. It's like, what? Okay. Oh, it's getting things backwards. Okay. Good. So that's Same the here. first definition. Okay. Second definition dirt. Dirt. Someone. Ada. Something unclean. Something? Unclean. Uh, unclean. Um. Uh -huh. Nasty. 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 Yes. Did you find filthy? Nasty. Yeah. Yeah. Fil filthy. Filthy, <laughs> sorry. Hold on. Like that, right? Filthy? Uh-huh. Come again, Jasani. Uh, dirty. Dirty. Do you pronounce the word? Dirty. Dirty. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dirty. 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 It's, it's difficult. You say dirty. 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 Um, Christina Aguilera? Yeah, Christina Aguilera. Dirty. 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 There's a song by Christina Aguilera. Dirty. I, I used to say dirty, dirty, but it's di diddy, diddy, diddy. Dirty, okay. <laughs> diddy. Okay. Designated. Elected. Designated. Uh, choose someone or appoint someone uh, to a specific position. Or task. Mm, no position. Ask. To, um, to assign something. To assign something to do. Elect someone or pick someone. Hmm. Ask. It's actually more of a position <laughs> or task. Okay. Uh, is there a synonym for this? Pointed. Point, pointed? 
Elected. Responsible. Responsible of. Uh -huh. Wait, wait. Responsible. Responsible. Mm, responsible. Sible. These are the kind of words. Today is going to be the class of dyslexia, okay? Because you will become dyslexic. And this is one of the words, responsible or responsible. Responsible. That's the right spelling, right? Responsible. I still get that. I mean, I'm like Isa. Same thing, you know. Isela, I'm sorry. Like Isela, the same thing. Some words, uh, even now, you still get trouble with them. Okay, sink. I have a dot with the word. It's <laughs> not even. Uh -huh. Facet is going to be used dispenser as well. Wait. Facet. Like that? Yeah. That's chorro. Yeah. And yeah. sink? Sink is, is the deposit. The, the okay. cubicle that you use to wash the dishes or your hands. Okay. And so this... It's yeah. more like dispenser. The faucet is where you get the water from mm, okay. to fall to fall on the sink. Now okay. we're describing this word as a noun, sink. Mm. Mm. Did you oh. notice? Yeah. It's a verb too, right, Jocelyn? Uh, yes, it can be go down. Yeah, what happened? What what happened to Jack um, on on Titanic, right? The same thing that happened to Jack or to the go Titanic. Down, go under. Okay. Go under. Under. Go down. under Drown it. Hey. Drown it. Yeah. You get drowned if you if you sink, if you sunk in the ocean. Okay, so but as a noun, yeah. What is it? Give me the definition of sink. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a spot, a place. You can... Is it a pile? A pile, yeah. Or just our Talking about the restaurant business. Okay. Yeah. There's no synonym, is it? Is there a synonym? Wash, wash basin. Wash basin. Like that? Yes. I, I heard that word before. I don't like it, the way it sounds. Mm -hmm. I never heard a gringo saying bad basin, basin, basin. Yeah, that's weird. Okay, good job. And last one, throwly. Throwly, 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 throwly. Yeah, throwly. Okay. Mm -hmm. A brave student. <laughs> A brave student. What is the meaning of throwly? The description of the word. Complete something. Hmm. Complete something. How? Let's say complete a task. How? The task. Uh, one hundred percent. In detail. In okay. detail. In detail. Mm -hmm. A task in detail. I mean, every single detail. Is there a synonym so, for it? So, totally. Is there a synonym for totally? Totally. Totally? Absolutely. 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 Together. That's what All you together, found. Soundly. Allowed? No. Wait, absolutely. Soundly. Soundly. 
So I'm not getting that so sound. All out. All out. All out. Fill out. Like that. All out. All. Oh. All, all out. All out. All out. Okay. In detail, all out. Carefully. Um. Yeah, I couldn't think of any other word. Okay. In detail. Now that, that's the synonym that I'm staying with. Okay. Let's keep it up. Keep it up. Next topic here. One second. You know, when I was working as a manager at an academy, we learned from a book that when you are a manager, you have to post everything big. It's like your team achievements the when they go when they reach the goals you have to post the goals in big letters post it big it said the book post it big why why, why is it important to put things in bold letters where in a very special place where everybody can see who is on first place for example the rank you know what is a rank? Oh, teacher. Yes, teacher. No, teacher. I know the word, but I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> a position, a rank, a ranking. Most likely a ranking. For example, El Salvador. What's the position of El Salvador right now in the, the last soccer match? <laughs> The last <laughs> last position, really? <laughs> no, <dude. laughs> okay, that, no, it's like uh, it's uh, 103. Like 103, really? Oh my god, no, 69. Okay. 69 on the yeah. ranking. Okay, so what's the side of their position in the pandemic? Um, results worldwide, I think. I don't know. We're like in 13, I think something. We were in good position. Okay, so that's a rank. That is a rank. So that's the point. Are procedures, posters displayed in some areas in your workplace? Let's see this checklist below. This signed, designed to verify the steps of a hand washing procedure. Procedure. Do you think the checklist is effective to evaluate the procedure? Why? Okay, so this is your duty right now. First of all, ask to your classmates, are procedures posters, are procedure posters displayed in some areas in your workplace? You know, in call centers back in the days, you understand that term back in the days? Yeah. What's the in meaning the in the Spanish? In the past. Yeah, but how would you translate it to Spanish? I'm sorry, back in the days. Uh, cuando estaba en el, como el colegio. En aquellos días, right? Uh -huh. Yeah, back then. Okay, back in the days, back then, we didn't have this. They didn't used to post the results, the ranks, um, or some procedures. So we started creating um, a knowledge base, that's the name, a knowledge base, where you could collaborate as an employee, creating new procedures, sharing best practices, sharing best practices, that's very important. So ask this question, oh no, no, my job, uh, they don't post procedures, you know, we just go with them, we have a book online on PDF where we can go, okay. Um, now let's check the check. Let's check the checklist. <laughs> let's look at the checklist below uh, to verify the steps of a hand washing procedure. Is this effective to evaluate the procedure? Why? So have this discussion with these two questions with your classmates, and then we will discuss it as a whole class. Okay. 
Not again. Yes, we have to speak. <laughs> Let's do it. You can do it, guys. Let's go, let's go. Can someone share the, mm -hmm. the screen? Oh no, he already sent it by WhatsApp. Okay. okay. I think that first we need to read the policy. And then we can try to make the 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 questions oh, she. okay oh, uh, she. who wants who wants who will start to read start reading okay. reading Jose Washes and washes are from top this front. Okay, I will try to... to... Uh, um, washes hands using soap from soap dispenser. Use brush to remove dirt from under Finger, finger nails, nails. Uses soap uh, between fingers and on fingers and on. On sub dispenser. Yeah. Well, of course. Yeah. After that, brush to remove dirt from under fingernails. Mm. Yes. yes. Uses brush. Brush. To remove dirt, dirt it's from dirt. under fingernails. Finger. So you use a brush. Mm. Yes. Mm. You yes. do it. <laughs> no. <laughs> Not actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the same you use for your teeth, right? Yeah, the top of your fingers. <laughs> yes. The, the tip, fingers. the tip of your fingers. The tip, the tip. Okay. Okay. Oh, my hands slowly dry. But it's necessary to, to sort it again, or I guess there is a good, uh, it's, it's right in the, those the order. steps in the order that I guess that is wash hands and sink from production area. Remember, I don't think there's an order in this list. Mm. There are steps. Yeah, okay. It's just to evaluate what you've done because let's see, wash hands, that includes putting water into your hands, then grabbing oh. soap from the dispenser, then brushing your fingernails, your under fingernails. You need to order. We need to order. Yeah. Mm, we need to because organize. If, because if we decide to improve, use yeah. gloves after you wash your hands or something like that. I don't know. But mm, yeah, like if you were going on surgery. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Same thing. Yeah, that's true. What will you improve? That's one the most uh, common process. That is uh, adopted for all the restaurant use gloves because the pandemic situation is uh, trying to be the, yeah. uh, how can I say, be uh, trying to beat viruses? Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm going to say biohazard, but it's not. My, Michael, <laughs> wait. Um, bacteria, bacteria, bacteria. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But how can I how can we we um um order those topics? I think they're in order. 
I guess yeah. too, because yeah. you can you can you can't dry your hands and after that wash it again. Well, actually, uh, yeah, you dry your hands with a mechanical hot dryer after you what wash your hands in the sinks from the production area. Yeah, think but about the it. Qu the question is: is is effective? Is it effective? Is it? Uh, is it effective? Perfect. Effective. Is it effective. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, what did what you were inferring, Alan? Will you improve this list? How? Um, alcohol only. Uh... Okay, just let me. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wow. dispenser. This is the second one. Uh huh. Uh huh. The number three. The number useful. Use. Mm -hmm. Using cells between fingers and yes, mm -hmm. I cannot pronounce it. I I cannot pronounce the correct this word. Throw 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 Trolley. Uh -huh. Trolley. 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 Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just use brunch. Hey, when uh, is, is brunch you need uh clean? For me, it's okay. This 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 process this this topic. Oh, this these sentences for me is, is okay. Okay. I don't know okay. what you think. Yeah, yeah. It's okay. It's, it's okay for you? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Next. Uh oh. you said so between finger <laughs> and and on hub. Oh, this is is this pronunciation difficult for me? Throw throwling. So throwling. 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 Okay, throwling. Okay. Between finger and on hand trouble wash. And this, this, this clay. In this case, I think uh, it's very necessary because uh, in, uh, between and finger and hand, and hand. Mm. then it's important because. Oh, teacher, how, how do you say si no in English? Algo tan sencillo, no me acuerdo. Si no, o sí. No, pero es que eso es literal. Pero si yo lo quiero ocupar para unir una palabra, por ejemplo, estamos discutiendo que eh, well, the, the, uh, the, the procedure is affected, but it's necessary that uh, a person or employee has to evaluate, have to supervise that the chef, uh, uh, the chef. Otherwise. That. Otherwise, the mm -hmm. procedure is ineffective. Is is an effective, an effective. Okay. Okay. Esa es la idea. Okay. Mm -hmm. So for another employee to supervise the procedure, if not, otherwise, it is an effective. Because if we don't, because if we don't do it, if they don't do it, if you don't do it, yep. Yeah. Ready? 
sí, sí, es que al inicio nos habíamos confundido porque los chequecitos los veíamos como que nosotros teníamos que ordenarlos o algo, pero no, ent no entendíamos yeah. bien la pregunta, era solo de, de que es como que alguien llega y es como que hay una paginita en las entradas de, de cuando van a entrar a turno y uh -huh. eh, fulano de tal, se lavó bien las manos, usó cepillo, hizo lo, todo siguiendo cada uno. I like your Spanish, yes. <risa> Yeah, you understood. And that's important. Comprehension is very important. It's true. Okay, okay, okay. So let's go back then. Let's okay. see if everybody got it right. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, um, so before moving on, someone's missing. Who's missing? Uh oh, Sabrina Mabel Latin Castro is the only one waiting. And in her group, we have Alexander, Alan, and Johnny. <laughs> Sabrina, Mabel, I think Astro 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Here she comes. Okay, let's continue. Uh, before moving on, I would like to run the attendance again. Please say present. Turn on your cameras. Elvin, Miriam, Carolina, Roberto Luis. Sabrina Mabel, thank you. Ada Azucena Cáceres Mendoza. Present, teacher. Alexander de Jesús Sánchez Soto. Present. Carla Ivania Cabrera Serrano. Present, teacher. Claudia Marisela Solano Crespín. Present, teacher. Great. Here, present, thank you. Elvin Arcides Eguizabal Martínez. Present. Thank you. Fátima Ifegenia López Ramos. Fátima. Ok. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Present. Thank, you. Thank you. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Present. José Antonio Cubías Hernández. Present. Carla Yanet Amaya Herrera. Present. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Ok. Miriam Carolina Mozo Valdés. Present. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Present. Rina Marisabel Álvarez de Chávez. Present. Roberto Luis Umaño Orellana. There. Sabrina Mabel Latín Castro. Okay. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. William is not with us today. Okay. Um, Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Thank you. Alan Christopher Abrego Brizuela. Present. Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. I'm here. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chavez. Present. Jose Alfredo Sandoval Sarabia. Jose Ángel Martínez Hernández. Juan Marcos Guzmán. Present. Thank you. Okay, so if you got it, it wasn't about ordering the items. It was just about giving your opinion to tell if it was a great idea, if the procedures checklist is a good idea to, to be implemented in your job, for example. So I noticed, I noticed some of you were saying hands hands and what's the right the proper pronunciation of that word hands hands right be careful thank you so let's see washes hands using soap soap from soap dispenser soap soap the the, the u sound is very weak The U sound is very weak. It's not soap, soap, soap. Okay, soap dispenser. Uses brush. Hmm. 
brush. When you think there's something there's something missing in the middle, uses brush. Maybe uses a brush. Uses a brush to remove dirt. Dirt from under fingernails. Okay, fingernails. Fingernails. Uses soap between fingers and on hands thoroughly. Thoroughly. Okay. Washes hands thoroughly. Yeah. Washes hands in sinks from production production area 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 be careful dries hands with a mechanical hot dryer mechanical hot dryer don't say mechanical please it's mechanical hot dryer so the policy is all chefs and servers will follow proper hand washing Procedures. So, what do you think? Okay. Does someone have this situation at their workplace? Are procedures clusters displayed in some areas in your workplace? Do you have that? Yes. Yeah, but it's, yes. but it's most common to see, see it in the, rest, in the restaurant. In the restroom. Yeah. Mm, okay. Uh -huh. in, my workplace, in my workplace, for example, we have a, a kitchen area. We have, we have procedures like this. Like those? Like those. For example, what, what for? Uh -huh. we, 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 have, we have the breakfast in, in the workplace. What do you have to do if you have a breakfast at the workplace? Okay. I mean, what, are, what is the procedure? For example, let me, let me give you an idea. When I, when I worked at Dell, you know, the call center, there was a big uh, break room, a big break room, break room on each level. On each level, there was a break room. There was a TV, a PlayStation, uh, some tables. There was a microwave. I remember there was a fridge. Now, on the fridge, there were instructions on what to do and what not to do with the fridge, how to leave your food in the fridge. The same happened with the microwave, how to use the microwave properly to take care of the items, right? So steps to follow. And that's what you have done right now. So uh, Alan was saying something about improving improving these procedures. How can you improve the procedures to wash your hands? So in, in well, I, I thought that it's a good idea to add, uh, use gloves after wash your hands. After washing? Uh, after washing your hands in the, because it's like uh, you are a barrier to contain the bacteria or kind of. Yes, it's very important, especially for chefs preparing the food, right? Someone mentioned something about COVID-19, the whole pandemic, how it has changed many procedures we follow, especially in, when cooking, right? Okay, I'm waiting for your answer. Everybody. For the pandemic, uh, of course, there is more um, strenuous um, procedures for all the manipulate foods and beverage and restaurants. On how to manipulate foods at restaurants, true. But at home, guys, are you following any specific procedures at home? 
due to the whole pandemic situation. Yeah. Um, like a take a shower after. Like taking a shower. Taking a shower after arriving. Uh -huh. After home. arriving home. Home. After arriving home. After arriving home. Okay, good. So that's the point. Now we have to create in pairs. In pairs. You can check this, follow this example, use this checklist to create a model, a model, I'm sorry, to create your own um, list, to create your own checklist to evaluate a process you follow at your workplace or at home if you want, but you need to state the steps, you need to state the steps that you will follow. Um, for example, this is very simple actually, nowadays with the whole pandemic is easier, right? Uh, when someone arrives home, what was the procedure? Help me, what was the procedure, everybody, that you used to follow when you arrived home? There were some TikTok videos as well, you know, lay on the ground and That's roll great. roll on the ground <laughs> and, and shoot <laughs> shoot water with the hose, right? Okay, go ahead. Spray your shoes. Spray the whole shoe? The whole shoes? Only the, I don't know how the, yeah. how the word. So, so, so uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. Let me let me check it again. So so oh I can't remember the spelling of that. Yeah, but that's so shoe so actually this, this is the first time that I am using that. You're word. thinking how huh, about that word. Yeah. Yeah, there is shoe so the shoe so is plantilla. Oh, or no 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 la suela. La suela. Uh -huh. okay. Shoes off. Oh, take take off your shoes and with your footwear into your home. Enter your home with your bare, bare enter foot. no way. Enter home. Enter your house barefoot. Enter barefoot. your house barefoot. Barefoot. Descalzo. Okay. Barefoot descalzo. Mm -hmm. Change the gloves. Enter Say my gloves. house. Change. Change your, Change your clothes. Change your clothes. Claudia? Yeah, it's correct uh, when I say enter my house with our shoes. Yeah, I enter my house with your shoes. Just repeat. Is it correct? Is it, is it correct? 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 Is it? Is it? Yeah. Okay. You. Yeah, it is correct. What else? What is the most extreme procedure you were following during the pandemic? Mm. What was the, the extreme wash procedure? Wash your hands twice. Wash your hands twice? twice? That was the twice. extreme, the, the, the most extreme procedure? Mass. For me, because <laughs> normally one time. <laughs> Yeah. Use use um, spray alcohol in every superface. Acid, acid, right? Acid or rebunocleic. How do you say that in English? Acid. That is not the, right. Not for sanitizing. <laughs> My God, you used to sanitize your whole body. You know the most extreme situation I lived when I went out for the first time during the pandemic. I had to go by bus. I had to go by bus. I don't know where, I think to the supermarket, but I had to take the bus. No, I went downtown. I had to go downtown by bus. When I came back home, I basically got naked in the garage and my wife throw, throw the towel. My wife throw the towel at me and I was like covering myself with the towel and I came to the shower. I, I was really scared when, when the whole pandemic started because I used to smoke. So, uh, you know, I was really scared of going out. And I'm almost 40, so I don't know. That's the most extreme thing I remember doing. 
And of course, washing your clothes on the washing machine. That was a lot of procedures. Wash okay. That's, I'm sorry? Wash the money. Wash the money. Really? Yeah. We never thought about throwing alcohol to a bill, right? To a $5 bill or something. But yeah, it's necessary. It is still necessary. Yes, yes it is necessary. Some, some store, no, some grocery stores, you know, in your neighborhood, there are small grocery stores, right? Dollar City. <laughs> no, 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 even smaller. Sanitize. Smaller. Okay. Smaller grocery uh -huh. stores like La Tiendita, you know, yeah. the grocery store, they have a deposit for the coins, right? With alcohol or to sanitize the money. It's a good idea. Okay, so it's your turn. In groups, in couples, you have to create a procedure, you know, and a checklist. If you noticed, you're not using a subject here. In theory, you're saying something like he washes, he uses, she uses, it washes. It's third person basically to start the sentence. Keep an eye on that, okay? And by the way, uses brush, you understand that? He uses, well, that's why I was telling you a brush, uses a brush. Sounds weird, uses brush to remove dirt from under fingernails. So think about it, third person, verb. You don't need a subject. There's no subject before the verb, got it? But the topic is any, any topic, any topic. Okay. Okay, but it's a list, a checklist, a checklist of a procedure that you follow at work. How do you okay. do it step by step? Okay. Let me split you. We are 21. Hmm. How many procedures? Just one. It's just, I mean, it's a checklist of one thing, one activity that you do at work or at home, like the one we talked about, how to sanitize yourself. Okay. 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 Let's do it. Let's go, Jenny. To the... um, buy grocery store food or um, yeah. uh, or how to handle groceries when you are right. Home. Mm -hmm. right yes. home when you arrive yes. home home yeah. right home okay mm -hmm. okay give me some examples for example um read off the bags and then put the or clean the groceries using alcohol or another liquid or with a with a soft cloth soft cloth soft soft cloth, soft cloth. yeah soft cloth okay and yeah and if our vegetable in there we can use a container with uh, here. Here. I don't the here and put the vegetable inside there for two minutes in order to sanitize the vegetables. Uh, well, what do you think? Sandra and Fatima?
chose uh, uh, spray alcohol uh, and dress um. yeah we can use a spray and uh, clothes and and what do you think, Sandra? My cows. Um, in my world, example, uh, in the morning, uh, sanit sanitize, sanit sanitize uh, the clothes in shoes. Then, uh, Temperature. Um, okay. mm, uh, sanitize areas uh, in my office. I my computer, my desk. Um, only sanitize. Just sanitize and that's it. Sanitize. Okay, so you're gonna talk about sanitizing when you get home. Hmm, how do you say carpeta, no wait, um, alfombra sanitizante? <laughs> mm. Look for that word, okay. Sanitizing mat or tape? No, mm, no, mat could be mat. mat. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, keep thinking. Write it down. Yeah, yeah. Sanitize the shoes, put in, put in the shoes, put in the shoes, put in the shoes, put in the shoes, in the rock with ammonia, in the rock mat. Road mat. Okay. Road. Uh, mat, 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 mat. And is on the rock mat. On the rock mat. Yes. Um, on sobre. Uh, on uh, no, no, no. On. 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 Ah. On. Ah. on the rock the mat on the rock with mat. ammonia. Did you, did you Google ammonia? Uh, no. <laughs> I didn't. No, teacher. Let me check. <laughs> monium. 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 Ammonium. Ah, Ammonium. Double. Twice M. M. Se puede decir, ¿verdad? Dos M. Double M. Ah, double, double M. M. Ammonium. Yes, M. Ammonium. U M. Uh -huh. Yes. Next. Takes. Takes alcohol. Takes alcohol. Takes alcohol. 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 From the dispenser. Mm -hmm. And checks. Okay, what procedure are you following? What procedure are you describing? What checklist are you creating? Uh, in my job, uh, doesn't lead to to be a lot of people. The procedure to to have a lot of people on where? 
in my job. O sea, en mi, en mi lugar de trabajo no se permite atender oh, a personas. But, uh -huh. Ajá, pero esas son como restricciones. Estamos hablando de una checklist para ver si un procedimiento se llevó a cabo apropiadamente. So, así como se me ocurre nada más que la sanitización. Um, Ok, first, um, what is the first thing you do? Para, para chequear tarjeta, para chequear la tarjeta, por ejemplo, para marcar, perdón, en la mañana. ¿Marcan ustedes tarjeta en el trabajo todavía? No. 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 Ok, uh, ¿pagan a proveedores? No. No, ¿reciben no. proveedores? In my case, no. No. No, okay. no, no. Entonces, un procedimiento, si por ejemplo, por darles un ejemplo, uh, cuando yo pagaba a los proveedores, tenía que chequear primero, porque me hablaban de recepción, ¿no? y que, mire, si ya está el cheque de fulano, ah, bueno. tenía que ver en primer lugar si había cheque emitido. Si no había cheque emitido, tenía que ver si habían fondos en la cuenta bancaria correspondiente a eso. Eh, um, después, si habían fondos, pedirle al a la recepcionista que le pidiera al vendor, al, al proveedor que se esperara. Había que emitir el cheque, llevarlo a que lo firmaran y llevárselo al proveedor. En pocas palabras, ese era el procedimiento. Entonces, ahí vas. Check. Checks if there's money. Checks okay. if there's money. Um, no money, then checks the account for money. Creates the check takes the check for signature for from the general manager okay goes back with the reception and sends the check to the vendor that's it y voy un procedimiento así pero en tercera persona remember okay 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 keep going la próxima vacuna. Okay. Sí, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We are talking about the vaccines. <gasps> What's the procedure? <laughs> I I have my my first vaccine today and we are talking about for because Ada is uh, working in a hospital and he she told me that rigorous procedures in the in the in the checklist the, the notebook she she is um okay so what's the first yes, thing to do yeah there are some procedures to follow right out of first uh yes. rec receives patients Receives patient at the entrance. Así como yo lo vivía en, en Saldaña. Receives patients at the entrance. Assigns okay. a number. Assigns a number to the patient. Seats patient. Okay. Mm -hmm. Calls patient in order. Okay. Takes temperature. Okay. Takes temperature. Asks for symptoms. No secondary, no secondary symptoms. Okay. Applies the vaccine. Waits for 15 minutes. I mean, patient waits for 15 minutes. And then um, assigns the second date for the second shot. The second shot date. Mm -hmm. And then discharges. Discharges the patient. Solo, yeah, que okay. en mi, solo que en mi caso si se les olvidó ponerme en la segunda fecha I have to ah. schedule it, si, sí, tengo que agendarla bueno pero que 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 it was a Pfizer so 21 days ajá, 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 el, el tiempo uh -huh. un mes ok, a month yes, ok so 20th 
In my case, I need to wait in four weeks. Four weeks. Yeah. Same, the same as well. Yeah, I have to go around August 10th, something like that. Okay, so go ahead. Describe the procedure. Practice describing the steps, the checklist. It's a checklist, remember. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's five steps, teacher. Okay. In my case, it's rigorous and <laughs> necessary for the complicated. Necessary. You see, yes. It's the uh, only um, three hands and the paper, not mechanical hot. Uh, so it avoids physical contact. Avoids physical contact with the patient. Okay. Mm -hmm. That that's important. Avoids physical contact with the patient. Okay. Don't don't talks and doesn't talk doesn't talk directly to the patient. Okay. Very good. Gives instructions. Gives instructions to the patient. Um, doesn't yell. She doesn't yell, for example. Doesn't yell. Like, hey, come here. You're next. Okay. <laughs> Don't do that. Okay. Go ahead. Write it down. Okay, sanitation process at home. Mm -hmm. Sanitizes clothes, shoes, bags, and lunchbox. Sanitizes, Lunch. you don't need the first. Ah. Start. Sanitizes. Uh -huh. Sanitizes clothes, shoes, bags, and lunchbox. Teacher, how do you say, how, you told us the word plantilla. So. How, can you spell please? S-O-L-E. S-O-L-E. You, you have to put it together. Shuso. Okay. Oh, shuso. Okay, she saw. Uh, we were talking about uh, the steps. Uh, um, after wash the hands and fingernails, mm, we've then sanitizing with alcohol spray, spray, whole body and things. The whole body? Uh, whole body and things, things. Um, in my case, put my things, the, the, the back, hem, whole body, okay. The back uh, apart, apart from other things. Uh, uh, change my clothes. Um, but even remember, I, that's the point you're doing it on third person so oh, okay changes clothes. changes clothes mm -hmm. um, the first verse no, uh, you don't need, you don't need to say first it's just a checklist uh, okay, so okay. changes clothes sanitizes shoes soles birth okay. in third person uh, sanitizes uh-huh Washes hands. Uh, Correct. Washes hands uh, and fingernails. Okay. And what about take off? Takes off. Take off clothes. Oh, uh, take off clothes. Takes off clothes. Mm -hmm. mm. Or put the books, the things apart from. Oh, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. puts, uh, puts things apart. 
puts things apart. Mm -hmm. Thanks. 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 Carla, thanks. Uh -huh. Good, good. Okay, keep it up. Okay. That's amazing man, that you use the those those things that you don't do for travel to with your teamwork. It's necessary because if, if you don't do it, you may be contagious to someone else, right? Yeah. You were telling me you work in the sports federation, right, René? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. What procedures are you following? Um, in even international uh, procedures, as protocol, uh, the, the closer in circle. Uh, at the same, and not a little circular area. Doesn't so if you were given this is this is a checklist, you were you will say, uh, doesn't doesn't go out of the cluster, doesn't go out of the cluster, doesn't go, doesn't, doesn't go, go out of the cluster, out of the cluster, out of the cluster, because you're out talking in third cluster. person, right? So. It doesn't go out of the cluster. Okay. Doesn't go out the cluster. Uh, Takes temperature. Uh, uh, every day, uh, uh, every day, it's um, a sign and we have not, um, signs. Signs. Yes. Oh, yes. signs the protocol. Mm -hmm. The protocol. Uh, uh, for protocol, the security, the, the event. Mm. For protocol and security mm -hmm. of the event. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, signs the protocol. What um, well, when the future? The uh -huh. team should uh, disinfect shoes. Uh, Wait, um, the, the disinfect the shoes. You mean the sanitize? The shoes. Sanitize. And sanitize. And sanitize. Yeah. Shoes. Sanitize the shoes. Uh huh. And the temperature, they all call her to enter the gym and to the photo. Keep me without the system. Then every every or during during event. The security event. Alan? No, I just got, have a question. Mm -hmm. uh, the test, the COVID test that put something ISOP. in your nose. The eye soap. The eye soap. Yeah. Uh, yeah that that's yeah. the thing that I I guess that. I thought that it's a different word to to say ISO, but uh, it's I never use that word. Sincerely, <laughs> ISO It's not different for the others that you use for the ears. It's the, the same. Word. It is the same thing. The difference is that the one they use the, for the test is longer. Ah, okay. The difference is the place that you put it. <laughs> Okay. And actually, yeah, you say solve. Swab, swab what? test. Swab. Swab test. Do they perform the swab test? But that's just in case, right? In case you have any symptoms, they perform the swab test, right? Okay. Yes. In some extreme cases, I think. 
when you are completely sure that you are mm, and you have temperature let's say oh, okay I, i've seen that yeah when you have temperature you have some symptoms mm, they and run the you, test you already have it to opportunity to get those tests in your life no 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 uh, but i got the first shot i'm waiting for the second shot ready for the match <laughs> yeah, hopefully i don't get any symptoms after the second shot okay <sighs> let's go back <laughs> okay see you okay Okay, let's continue. Wow. Okay, and again, Johnny and Jose Antonio Cubillas are missing. <laughs> okay, Johnny and Jose Antonio. Tell us okay. about your checklist. Bien, re recordemos rapidín que esto es una lista que chequeas todos los días sobre algún procedimiento que seguís. La mayoría, les cuento, estaban hablando del procedimiento de sanitización. Está bien en su trabajo, porque sí me gustó que es variado, es diferente. Uh, en cada lugar de trabajo han aplicado diferentes condiciones para aplicarse, para, valga la redundancia, para aplicarse las uh, medidas de bioseguridad. Uh, and that's okay. Um, so let's see. Alguien por ahí hablaba de, de cómo se hace el procedimiento para ponerte la vacuna. Chigo también. Como, pero desde la perspectiva de una enfermera o una doctora. So vamos a ir viendo. Acuérdense, tercera persona. Ok. Y digo, es como ir diciendo en español: chequea. No, recibe al paciente. Eh, mantiene distanciamiento social. No le habla directamente y usando tapabocas al paciente. Por ejemplo, right? Ok. Le pone la vacuna al paciente y lo soba. Ok. Right? Ok. Le da un pañuelo para las lágrimas. Good. Ok. And so on. Ok. So let's see. Johnny and Jose Antonio, tell us about your procedure. Ok. Um, the first we um, had is uh, change the clothes on the pants and you say. And in the second, we have uh, watch your hand. After that, uh, take uh, the temperature. And that's fast. The uh, whole process is the that process is spray all the whole body with antibacteria. And the uses the globe and, and, and when that vehicle inside the installation always had to wash the tire and for inside the all the room in the department in different department you have to use the mats Key and ninety nine and use alcohol, alcohol help. Only that. Okay. Okay, I need your help here, everybody. Change the clothes on the pants. Help me. Changes. Changes. Okay, Changes. good. Changes the. Change clothes. Change clothes and. And pants. And, and pants. pants. Yeah, you don't need the. 
No necesitas el artículo cuando estás generalizando, ¿ok? That's what we're doing right now. Ok. Wash your hand. One hand. Qué lindo. Uh, bien, de nuevo, continuando con el tema es washes hands. Tan simple como se oye. Washes hands. Se lava las manos. Así estamos hablando. Ok, take. So help me on the next one. Take out the temperature. Takes. Takes. The temperature. Temperature. Takes temperature. ¿Qué otro verbo podría ocupar en lugar de take? Checks. Mm. Checks. Checks. ¿Algo otro? Get. Gets temper. No porque eso es de obtener temperatura, que te dé temperatura. Ajá. Uh -huh. Checks. Um, Verify. Verifies. Verifies. Verifies temperature. Check. Verify. Measure. Measure, ah, exactly. Measures, all of these in third persons. Measures temperature, checks temperature, verifies temperature, takes temperature. Okay. Ahora, takes temperature suena como que toma la temperatura. O sea, yo soy el que está tomando la temperatura de todo el mundo. Okay. Uh -huh. Next. Use a dispenser to spray the whole body. Uses. Uses. Ahí Uses. Sí. A dispenser to spray the whole body. The body, decía uh, Johnny, the whole body. Bien, aquí es donde yo puedo quitar los artículos y eso era lo que estaba analizando. Uses dispenser to spray whole body. No, no, puedo, no puedo quitar o no yeah. los artículos. Uses dispenser to spray whole oops, body. I forgot the word body. Exactly. Ok, eh, área de oportunidad, Johnny. Sonidos finales. Por ahí decías, Oway. ¿Cómo dice Britney Houston? Whitney Houston. Always. Uh -huh. We'll always love you. This. Always. Okay. Always has to wash the tires. ¿Cómo sería eso entonces? Always has to wash the tires. Como es una acción que estoy analizando, si una tercera persona la realiza, sería. Washes tires um, upon entrance. Hmm. Upon entrance. Mm. Washes tires upon entrance. Lava las llantas al entrar. Okay. Use the mass. Por eso te decía eh, Johnny. Sonidos finales. Uses masks. Oh, mask, I'm sorry. Uses mask. O en este caso, wears. Sería más apropiado, ¿verdad, chicos? Wears, wears. mask. Wears mask. Es un checklist. Wears mask. Alcohol, alcohol hell. And this is more civil pronunciation. Alcohol hell. Alcohol hell. Alcohol hell. Some, okay. algunos, algunos gringos han escuchado decirles alcohol gel alcohol gel ok, sounds okay. weird y por último, en lugar de decir only that, señores de intermedio ¿qué puedo decir? that's Just all that, that, that's pretty much it that's pretty, that's pretty much it no. mejor al revés pretty much, that's it pretty, pretty much, much that's it And that, oh, no, no, you're right. And that's it pretty much. That's, that's it pretty it. much. Okay, that's it pretty much. Only that, no. Porque only that es como traducir del español en inglés, ¿verdad? Lo más común es, that's it. That's it. That's about it. Repeat, that's about it. That's about it. And that's, that's about, about it. it. That's about it. Right. And that, that's, all, that's all there is to say. And that's all there is to say. Do you have any questions? <laughs> Try it. And that's all there is to say. Do you have any questions? Okay, that's all there is to say. Okay, Johnny, choose somebody. Bye -bye. 
select somebody. Mm, Carla. Carla Janet. Ivania. Or... Ivania. Ivania. Okay, Carla Ivania. And your couple. Okay. Um... Carolina. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so uh, we our our checklist is is about sanit when when we reach at home after work. Um, the checklist uh, san sanitizes gloves, uh, shoes, sole, handbag, bag, and lunch lunch box. Washes the hands and fingernails um, thoroughly. Mm. Can you continue, Ivania? Okay. Uh, put things apart. Wash the clothes. Uh, sanitizes coins. And take a shower. Mm -hmm. Takes a shower. <laughs> Good. <laughs> washes clothes. Ahí hay que quitar el artículo igual que en washes the hands. A ver, eh, mm. todos, todos, todos. Esto TH lo ocupo mm. cuando soy bien específico. Por ejemplo, washes the hands and fingernails of the kids. Of the kids. Lo de los niños, soy bien específico. Uh -huh. Si estoy generalizando como lo estamos haciendo ahorita, washes hands and fingernails. Se lava las manos y las uñas de los dedos. Ok. Ok. Washes clothes. Por eso se narra. Washes the clothes. Lava la ropa. Lava la ropa. Mm, sí, sí, ¿verdad? Lava la ropa. So uh -huh. without, without the word the. The. Ajá, pero como estamos acostumbrados a decir la ropa, la, la no sé qué, las manos. Entonces, por lógica, estamos traduciendo. Entonces, no, eh, cuando uh -huh. generalizo, no ocupo el artículo, cuando soy bien específico. Washes the clothes of the week. Lava la ropa de la semana. Ok. Uh -huh. Good. Do the laundry. Entonces, Ajá, that's basically doing the laundry. That's, right, that's doing the laundry. Good job. Who's next, Caro? Um, Elvin. Um, someone else. Elvin anda un poquito oh, más de la oh. garganta. Okay, okay. Uh, Alexander. Alexander. With him. <laughs> Carry on. Okay. Okay. Okay, give me a moment. Okay. In this case, it is for uh, sanitize groceries. The first step is take out groceries from bags and then get rid of the bags in a treasure or in treasures. Classify for kind of groceries like flowering food, vegetable, kind of food, meals, and then sanitize groceries using a soft cloth with bleach. Then put them away carefully in correct spot or storage. And that's pretty much it. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Um, sanitizing groceries will be like the title, right? Sanitizing groceries. Takes out groceries from bags. Takes out. 
takes out groceries from bags. Tengan cuidado con los verbos frasales. El que se modifica es el verbo, no el, la preposición. He visto alumnos diciendo take out, take out groceries. Out. Wait. Takes out groceries from bags. Canned food. Repeat canned food. Canned food. Uh, canned food. Canned food. Okay. Bleach. 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 Ese es, un álbum, ese es un álbum de Nirvana, una canción. I can remember. Bleach. Okay. Puts them away. Puts them away. Exactly. In proper storing spot. In proper storing spot. Storing. Okay. Storing spot. Okay. Good job. Good guys. You see, that was an example. Do you have any? Oh, wait a minute. Don't, no le pongan atención a eso, sorry. I just too clicked late. it by mistake too late. Ah, don't go. Please don't go. Please don't go. Really? Hopefully nobody left. No, no. Okay. Not now. Uh, don't worry. Okay. Good. So, vamos a seguir mañana. Let me do the attendance uh, one last time. And please don't forget about your um, platform so I can upload your your grades. Um, me quedo con Elvin. Good night to the rest. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Alexander de Jesús Sánchez Soto. Present night. Good night. Carla Ivania Cabrera Serrano. Present. Good night. Good night. Claudia Maricela Solano Crespin. Present. Good night. Good night. Elvin Arcides Eguizabal Martinez. Present. Thank you. Fátima Ifegenia López Ramos. Present. Thank you. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Good night. Good night. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Present. Have a good night. Good week. Good night. <laughs> Jose Antonio Cubillas Hernández. Present. We see you. See you. Carla Janet Amaya Herrera. Present teacher. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Miriam Carolina Mozo Valdés. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Reina Marisabel. Thank you, René. Good night. Reina Marisabel Álvarez de Chávez. Present. Roberto Luis Umaña Orellana. Okay. Sabrina Mabel Latín Castro. Present teacher. Thank you. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Thank you. William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Good night. Good night. Alan Christopher Abrego Brizuela. Present. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. Present. Good night. Good night. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chavez. Present teacher, good night. Good night. Jose Alfredo Sandoval Sarabia, Jose Ángel Martínez Hernández, Juan Marcos Guzmán. Present teacher, good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Okay, okay. Let me help you guys. Okay. Give me one second, Elvin. Hi, Carla. <laughs> okay. So, a ver, eh, sé que apenas puede hablar, mi lo estaba escuchando ahí. Está bien. Se mojó ayer de seguro, solo hágale así. <laughs> no, no sé. <laughs> ¿Sabes? De repente. Siento uh, virus, virus que anda en el ambiente. Híjole, y más que usted trabaja en una planta de producción, ¿verdad? Así es. No sé, hay, hay mota. No, eso ya, ya me acostumbré. Híjole, pero eso sí es dañino. Bueno, y usted ya tendría que estar acostumbrado a una mascarilla, supongo. Sí, yo siempre sí. he usado mascarilla. Sí, híjole, es bien delicado. Bueno, creo que es la primera vez que estamos en, en una sesión uno a uno, ¿verdad, Elvin? Correcto, correcto. Fíjese que yo suelo abrir estas sesiones con dos puntos. El primero, la primera pregunta es eh, si esa es su primera experiencia aprendiendo inglés, si empezó con inglés corporativo o ya venía, si tenía esta inquietud siempre de pequeño o si ha estado en otras academias. Y la segunda, pues, ¿qué, es, 
¿Qué estoy haciendo después de la clase o fuera de la clase para reforzar el conocimiento? O sea, ¿qué estoy haciendo? Eh, ¿qué, ¿Qué practico a diario con disciplina para poder mejorar el inglés? Sí, este, vaya, mi, mi problema es, eh, yo, yo normalmente a veces me da como, como digamos que hasta cierto modo pena, ¿no? eh, porque ya cuando agarro confianza, pues es otra cosa. Pero lo que sí yo considero es que el vocabulario sí me, me falta ampliarlo. El otro, bueno, lo que ahorita hago es tratar de ir aprendiéndome al menos dos verbos ahorita, eh, que es lo que con lo que hemos estado desde, desde la, el módulo anterior, uh -huh. eh, tratando de aprender dos verbos, pero a veces se me hace un poco complicado por los horarios y, y todo eso. Sin embargo, en mi trabajo, como hay compañeros también que están estudiando, tratamos de practicar con ellos. Sin embargo, a veces mi problema considero yo que es que pienso mucho en español cuando tengo que ir ya comenzando a pensar en inglés porque hay traducciones que no no, no. no le pegan exacto ajá ahora ahí he hecho algo bien claro bueno dos cosas no me falta vocabulario ok y no me pega lo que escribo ah ok algo muy importante que descubrí hace años fue que el cerebro no recibe órdenes ni los operarios, no sé si lo ha notado, usted le dice a un operario, a un operario, cómo hacer algo, y se lo dice en forma eh, de orden, es decir, la sintaxis que ocupa, hasta su expresión corporal puede ser dañina para lo que le dice un operario, a mí me pasaba eso, y no me hacían caso porque miraba bien bicho, yo tenía 22 años con eso, haciendo mis prácticas de la cámara en, en el técnico administrador, y las señoras como de 50 años, <ríe> Este, Risa, niño. Le da, este niño que me viene a decir ah, pues aprendí eso que el cerebro es muy maleable pero si uno tiene un buen tono de voz dice las cosas apropiadamente y da, se da a entender pues por lo mismo pasa con uno cuando está aprendiendo algo si no le pone el contexto al verbo el cerebro se va a quedar como en la luna ¿ve? ¿cómo lo ocupo? <ríe> porque es bien inteligente entonces mi recomendación es esa mire. cuando tengo un chance, aunque sea una vez al día agarre un verbo y una palabra relacionada a ese verbo en un cuaderno nuevo o sea, que solo ocupe para eso ese cuaderno ¿ok? E invierte en eso nada más un lapicero con minas de colores y, y, este, y un cuaderno y empiezo día uno agarro cinco verbos ¿ok? empiezo uno, dos tres, cuatro y cinco. Ahora, la regla es, a este nivel ya, a nivel intermedio, qué tiempo gramatical ya, ya vio Edwin, ya vio Elvin, ¿verdad? Ya que estudié. Ok, el presente simple, chivo, voy a ocupar solo presente simple el lunes. Empiezo, work, schedule, lo pongo en rojo, a mi cerebro le encantan los colores, se vuelve loco y se los memoriza inconscientemente. Ahora bien, Veo, reviso la estructura del positivo, del negativo y la pregunta una vez. Y empiezo sujeto, verbo, complemento. Sujeto, negativa, auxiliar, vea. Verbo y complemento. Y ahí me voy a ir aterrizando esto. Ah, pero dijeron que las terceras personas es doesn't, no es don't. Y que el verbo no se modifica cuando está el auxiliar presente. Vaya, chivo. Y en la pregunta, ah, las yes, no questions. El auxiliar va al principio. El verbo no se modifica. Ok. Ya tengo una. Positivo, negativo, pregunta. Voy con otra. Positivo, negativo, pregunta. Voy a cambiar el sujeto. Voy a ocupar primera persona. Y así voy. Tercera oración. Cuarta oración. Eso está en presente simple. Porque es un ejemplo nada más. Día martes. Agarro el presente. El pasado simple. Miércoles agarro el futuro. Con will. o Con going to. Presente perfecto. Lo que yo he visto. Y cada vez que veo un tiempo gramatical nuevo. Incluso hasta los modales los puedo practicar así. Entonces, pero esto requiere de, de una cosa principal. Yo creo que usted es ingeniero, ¿verdad? Sí. El, ajá, pues tenemos que cuadrarnos <ríe> en esto. Discipline. Pues yeah. primero organizar su tiempo. Ser realista, poner los pies sobre la tierra y decir, bueno, yo quiero aprender inglés. Y analizarse uno solo. Esto le va a ayudar en la confianza al hablar porque es importantísimo y creo que eso como ingeniero usted lo sabe 
cuando usted está llevando a cabo un proceso de reingeniería, no se deja ir nada más, ¿verdad? Hace un estudio, ¿esto va a funcionar o no? Ahora bien, ya cuando ha tomado la decisión, todavía queda ahí aquello de que, no, hombre, no va a alcanzar esta meta, este operario. ¿Cómo le hago? Démosle. Ahí es donde uno ya se lanza. Ya hice el estudio suficiente, creo que lo logra. Entonces, ya hay que dejarse ir. Lo mismo, me organizo con los pies sobre la tierra. Bueno, yo tengo la clase de 8 a 10. ¿Será que me puedo quedar media hora todo el día? Solo media hora todos los días. Y hacer esta tarea al pie de la letra. Porque no es solo de escribirla. Esto en 5 o 10 minutos al tiempo ya lo va a estar haciendo en 5 o 10 minutos. ¿Ok? Entonces, meto esto en el traductor de Google y empiezo a escuchar. She works in the morning schedule. Dijo, ¿cómo dijo? Schedule schedule no, no le entiendo el traductor me voy a la herramienta que me dio el teacher juglish.com schedule schedule y ahí va, un ratito nada más todos los días, le garantizo mi esperanza y lo que he comprobado con siete años es que no se va a memorizar los cinco verbos y las cinco palabras, pero por lo menos dos verbos y dos palabras diarias se le quedan por experiencia. Claro, si se hace esa rutina, no esa disciplina de todos los días, todos los días, todos los días. Es importantísimo. Si se quiere aprender verdaderamente y forzarse uno a aprender es importante. Porque nadie lo va a hacer. Yo le puedo dar una letanía completa de dos horas, motivarlo y todo, pero al final que se la tiene que creer es usted. Y eso se lo digo a todos sí. los estudiantes. Correcto. De hecho... Eh, bueno, como yo actualmente eh, me he metido a un proceso para un nuevo puesto uh -huh. y eh, el martes yo tuve, porque el puesto pide intermedio y yo tuve, porque siempre la empresa con inglés corporativo hace la nivel para ver en qué nivel de inglés está, uh -huh. me, to, me lo hizo mi Elena. Selena. Mi Selena, Elena. Uh -huh. correcto. Entonces, como cuando a mí me dicen, y aquí es donde digo yo que me falta el vocabulario, cuando a mí me dicen, ok, háblame de esto. Ah, no, yo no paro. Pero ya cuando en específico me comienzan a preguntar cosas, ahí es donde yo de repente dudo o me puedo perder. ¿Por qué? Porque no tengo la abertura de vocabulario. Cuando me preguntan, ok, por ejemplo, háblame de ti, háblame de tu trabajo, ahí no paro. Y como eso me preguntaron, tuve la suerte. <ríe> ¿En serio? Que, ajá, entonces, intermedio igual que Deo. Ajá. Entonces, y es lo que me pide el puesto por ahorita. Entonces, Qué chivo. ¿se lo van a dar? Ahorita estamos, como tenía Excel, tenía ajá. examen de Excel la semana pasada. Y inglés, tuve esta semana, nos van a llamar a entrevista, hay cinco personas más, a ver qué tal. Primero, Dios, hay que dejarle las cosas a Dios. Mire, ahí les ah. estoy enviando un link de un okay. video, se llama Just a Minute. Just a Minute. Just a Minute, es una técnica, ahí sale un, un hindú hablando, póngale subtítulos, entiéndale qué es lo que dice. Es exactamente eso, y esto es un, un icebreaker, no, un... Es un tipo de preguntas que se ocupan en entrevistas para, para sacar del área de confort al entrevistado. O sea, usted me, yo le digo, hábleme de su rutina. Ah, yo me levanto todas las mañanas, que no que no que Un básico, ¿eh? todos los días, que no De repente sí. le dicen, ajá, ¿cómo se fríe un huevo? Le cambia. Ah, y te, ¿qué, o sea, ¿qué pasó, wea? ¿Qué pasó aquí? El cerebro se vuelve a otro lado. Eso es exactamente esa, esta, esta técnica. Un tema cualquiera, yo le digo, dígase usted mismo frente al espejo, eso es importantísimo que usted se vea, porque uno desde pequeño no le enseñan a apreciarse uno mismo, y eso es escucharse uno mismo, lo que uno está diciendo, razonar sobre lo que uno está diciendo, no, no se lo enseña. Entonces, no el espejo, me digo, voy a hablar de trenes. Ok, pongo el teléfono por un minuto y empiezo a decir, en español, yo se los recomiendo primero siempre a los alumnos, primero en español. Ubique sus ideas en español. Voy a hablar en presente. Ok. Los trenes son muy bonitos. Hay de diferentes colores. En el país no existen trenes, pero sería chivísimo que hubiese. Que no sé qué. Va. Ya me ubiqué en el tema. Ok. Voy con el inglés. Uh, se va a congelar. No hay mm. problema. Agarro post-its y los pongo en el, en el espejo. Las ideas que pude aterrizar. Ok. Segundo intento. <ríe> y vuelvo a empezar. Ya, ya mejoré, ok. Tercer intento, hoy se me salió. Me grabo 
y me escucho, me critico. ¿Ok? Ok. Esas dos cosas agarro ahorita, vocabulario. Igual, vocabulario. igual lo otro que, eso yo sé que no es gran cosa, pero igual lo trato de jugar un poquito el Duolingo. <ríe> Ahí paso entretenido en eso. Bien básico, pero hay cositas que a veces le olvidan a uno. Y, vocabulario y ahí, que uno no sabe o se le ha olvidado es. todo así lo que es. haga todo lo que haga ayudará un poco un granito más para poder mejorar y eso está bien okay. de hecho de hecho yo hace ocho meses estábamos en básico me hicieron porque mi puesto actual igual me pide intermedio me lo dieron hace dos años con eh, la promesa que iba a comenzar a seguir estudiando inglés uh -huh. Entonces me evaluaron, bueno, primero no me evaluaron, a los seis meses de estar en mi puesto me evaluaron, ya, come, ya había comenzado a estudiar inglés, eh, me, me pusieron pre-intermedio. Eh, pre y hoy que ya tenemos como ocho meses de estar estudiando, ya vamos ahí queriendo llegar a intermedio, pero para mí eso es bien subjetivo, depende de quién me entreviste y qué me pregunten. Es que el conocimiento ya lo, ya lo ha de tener. Yo se lo aseguro. El conocimiento ya lo tiene. Solo es de agarrar confianza. Nada más. Sí, porque porque si, eh, si lo logra. Lo que, yo, si noto yo es que, que le tiembla la voz un poco cuando se quiere expresar. Duda, duda de eso mismo. Entonces, eso es por, hay que, lo, es por el desconocimiento de algunas palabras. Que, o cómo armarlas. No, hombre, <risa> inténtelo. Ya va a ver. Ya va a ver qué rápido empezar a sacar las palabras. Hables okay. en el espejo. y Porque me recuerdo yo cuando era vago. En mi juventud, a mí me gustaba mucho ir a Antigua en, en agosto. Ahí Ajá. llega mucha gente extranjera. Ya con mis cervezas hablaba yo inglés. <risa> y le entendía. Y okay. me entendía y yo le decía, mi inglés es muy malo, lo siento, si no me entiendes. No, yo te entiendo, tu mm. inglés es muy bueno. Y yo, what? <risa> Se debe entender y eso es lo importante. Bien, aquí estoy. Cualquier cosa, escríbame. Si se va a enviarme un audio haciéndose una pregunta, por ejemplo, What do I do every day? Se contesta usted solo, grábese. Ya cuando sienta que soy más o menos, me lo envía, yo se la corrijo y le envío de regreso, ¿ok? Ok, perfecto. Good night. Que siga mejor. Good night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Thank you.